Okay, so here I am. I was able to get around a little bit closer to the school. I'm here from the Mandela Avenue in front of Multilateral School. I'm going a bit close up so you guys will have an idea. As you can see, the police have the road card and off. All right. And this is my old school. As you see, the Minister of Home Affairs is there, Ropes and Ben. And this is what used to be our old school, multilateral. Surprisingly, the bicycle shed isn't touched. It's more or less like you can see it partly started from the whole mix. This is what is supposed to be the downstairs by the home mech. Upstairs used to be five arts and the bicycle shed. Well, I think it's the, now the music room. After. The whole wing that would have housed from five art all the way up to four tech A is gutted by fire. I was able to get close all the floors from top floor, middle floor and downstairs. This whole entire wing has been gutted by fire. It's a sad day here. The 19th of June 2021 it will be etched in my memory forever, honestly. Something that I never thought I would have witnessed. I mean, I've stood before and see houses burnt. To actually see a school, secondary school, being burnt right down to the ground. The bicycle shed is still standing, or what used to be the bicycle shed. I think it's now the music room. It's still up strong. There you see. Minister of Home Affairs going there, Mr. Over here, go right now. Yeah. Mr. Ropes and Ben just went by. So from all looks, apparently the fire was started from the homemaker. I'm still trying to gather information. I was listening to or trying to eavesdrop from one of the fire fighters as to ascertain what really started this place. But of course everybody at this point in time will be tight lit. So there you have it, now at Rongveld Multilateral School being gutted by fire. <laughs> 